Hey everybody, it's Dr. B with another Toolkit Tuesday where I share a tool from my latest book, Unflappable, How Smart People Quit Overthinking, Ditch the Drama, and Thrive at Work. If you haven't already picked up a copy, what are you waiting for? Have you not already shared a copy with a colleague or a friend? I don't know. Why wouldn't you want to be unflappable? There are 70 tools in this book, and I'm going to go through one of them with you today. Now, this is one I have talked about before, but I want to apply it differently, which shows you how versatile these tools are. So, I was talking with a client recently about a colleague that he had who had kind of like decided a different course of action, uh, ended up being problematic, you know, all these things. And they got to the end of this like one year process and they had all sorts, my client had all sorts of resentments and frustrations around this person and was feeling like even some self doubt, like what could I have done? Like, why are they treating me this way? Et cetera, et cetera. Cause they were always diminishing my clients words and, you know, opinions. So I used the tool compassion and accountability. Now, usually I use that with ourselves. So compassion says, of course, of course we are and who, who we are, where we are, how we are, thinking what we're thinking, et cetera, et cetera, as a direct and predictable result of every experience we've had and decision we've made that we, t people tend to act fairly consistently over time. I mean, every now and then there's a, there's a blip, but we can tend to see a, a fabric of consistency and we can understand where those things come from. And when we can sink into that, when we're doing it for ourselves, we're not as likely to feel shame or blame. We feel compassion. Like, of course, of course I would be thinking this. Of course I would be feeling this. Of course I would be reacting this way. But we don't stop there. And the other side of that is accountability, which has to be held in equal proportion, which says, now what? Now what am I going to do to change the future? Because if the present got here as a result of the past, how am I going to change the future? So when we turn that beautiful tool around to talk about a colleague or a coworker or a boss or a spouse or someone else, we can get less worked up and take things less personally when we can put the compassion on them. Like, of course they would act like that. Of course, if they were new to their job and they were insecure about that, they might work extra hard to prove themselves, which would be, might be, might be, to diminish your capability, to diminish your contributions. Client said, oh yeah, that actually lines up, right? So that's the point is looking at that compassion because you can't help to hold them accountable. You can't ask for change or modification if you don't see it through the framework that they see the world through, that they have their experiences through. Because you'll be talking gibberish. They won't understand you. And they're likely to put up defenses because when we feel threatened, whether psychologically, physically, we tend to put up defenses. So if you want to resolve conflict faster, if you want to create less drama in your world, in your organization, use compassion and accountability, not only on yourself, but on other people. If you like this video, please share it. If you liked what I had to say and you'd like to hear more, you can drop into my YouTube channel or my website, pick up a copy of Unflappable. Uh, I also do one-on-one -on -one coaching and I've got my fall starting to line up with a bunch of uh, speaking opportunities, both within companies and in larger spaces. So if you're looking for someone to bring these messages of hope for how we can actually survive and thrive at work and in life, uh, please give me a call. I would love to hear from you. And in the meantime, go be unflappable. Bye.